Yeah, um, that's the you know the thing about franchises and making these shit these days. Um, you got to put the faith. You can do that with any of them stories. You make like two or three and make a good story. But it's about can you convince your producers to give you a green light to a part two or three? Right. Because a lot of times that's what them stories do. They make the first one. The first one pick up. They drop it. If it do pick up, then like Twilight, it picked up and they made all six of them. You know what I'm saying? Like especially off that first go. Like I know it's probably hard to like find somebody to get your shit. You know what I'm saying? Seeing that first time, you ain't really connected. So that's why it's good that to have too. some type of little connection. That's, that be like, the, next oh, problem be, the next talk problem Talk to my brother in L.A. The next problem be, you know what I'm saying? Um, you might get help me. You know what I'm saying? The next problem be, you may just be trying to make money off the franchise. So you made the movie in the vein of what you want to see. Now, you consider it the fans because you don't want to say this is already an established franchise and you fuck up the franchise like that. Folks, that movie Dragon Ball Z. Right, so you think, do you feel like creators, they go off of what they would want to see rather than what the fans would want to see, or do you feel like it's more of what you think the fans want to see when people I think create it's, that I shit? Think it's, um, I think it's, um, actually, what's the phrase I'm looking for? I think it's depending on who's producing your project. I think it goes on that. I think it goes on that. So, I like, for that. example... If you are just a company, like for example, right now Hasbro owns Death Row. So, technically, what? yeah, he bought it. It's done. It's a done deal. So, technically, in a minute, Seriously? I think Hasbro also owns, I think they still own He Man. They own one of those cartoons franchise. So, technically, in a minute, if you see another He Man movie, don't be surprised if you hear some Snoop Dogg in the background. Because they own all this shit and they bought it while he was in jail. They bought it from him. Damn. Um, or it may not be Hasbro. I'm very sure it's Hasbro. It's uh, bought that for records. You see what I'm saying? So, so with that for going for example, if Hasbro decide to produce a movie, produce the Death Row movie. At this point in the game, they're just trying to make money. Their whole yeah. their whole experience in the game and t- cartoons and toys. So you're not about to give it to integrity for people who actually were fans of Death Row. What they want to see, right? Opposed to okay, I'm executive producing it, so I'm gonna give the project to. After Gary Gray or somebody, somebody who, who produced and directed the videos in, the, in that scene, he would know how to do it better. He knows what the fans want to see because I respect so, the integrity of the movie. What if, what if Hasbro go back to their roots and let, you know, whoever did the Power Ranger show for the American viewers, you know what I'm saying? Like he went that route to get it popping like Power Rangers was. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like. That's oh, what I'm saying. Uh, and that would be what makes it laugh, make it laughable, is that now you're taking some gangster rap shit and putting in a Power Ranger thing. But that's probably all he had to work with. So this is. You I'm saying, like, what if he go to the route where it's an unexpected good? You know well, what I mean? Yeah. Like, you like, damn, this Hasbro produced this? You know what I'm saying? They no, telling the truth. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, listen. You know? That's a chance. I'm sorry, but it's just, it's just funny. My mom just texted me. I'm sorry, you'll laugh too. This is how dirty my mom is. She said, be safe tomorrow. We're expecting a snowstorm tonight, two to six inches. And I said, wonderful. She goes, that's snow, not a woman's dream. And I said, mom, a woman's dream is not two to six inches. <laughs> <laughs> that's some good content. <laughs> and she kind of throw your daddy under the bush, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> give a shit. She can go. Uh, she yeah, she kind of threw your boy under the bush. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't think about that to All this guy. Like, damn. She just responds. She goes, Isn't that right, Herbert? <laughs> Her Bob will be right She just responds. She goes, So true. Oh, see, so. <laughs> see? <laughs> oh yeah, shit. my bad. We on this bitch keeping it real out here with Dre. Oh yeah, we keeping awesome it real bitch. all the way through the crib. You know what I'm saying we on a new episode. It's crazy. Rest in peace, Larry King. Rest R. in R. peace. Peace. Um, baby, that's not. I'm about to say Barry Bonds. Um, Hank Aaron. Rest in peace. It was somebody else passed away too. Um. Then old boy from Sick Roy passed away just recently. And rest of yeah. Phil mm-hmm. Spector. Somebody else, though. I forgot which one from Swiggers. We went to go through Hero and, and Restaurant, too. But as you see, we've talked yeah. about Shout out franchises. to all the new rappers that passed away, too. Pop That's Smoke. A, Chicago. Uh, just say whoever Chicago. else. Just say Chicago. <laughs> right. And he would cover it all. It's Chicago's dying. They're killing themselves. 
they they killing each other so hard. They even in Chicago killing themselves. They going out of places, out of town, killing each other. It's, <coughs> it's such a plague in Chicago. Pray for the brothers and pray for the motherfuckers taking that vaccine. We ain't gonna go into that. But anyway, yeah, these franchises, yeah, that's something that's happened. That's the whole liberation with art. So that's sometimes <coughs> happened. Like for example, and I say this was a dope thing, and I think horror produce horror directors should direct more superhero movies. The first Swamp Thing movie was directed by Wes Craven. And when I tell you that shit was dope as hell, when I tell you that shit, for the time, if you watch it now, you're like, oh my God, but for the time, if you would have seen the shit in the movies in the 80s, you'd have been like, damn, this Swamp Thing movie got to tear niggas' heads off and shit. He just threw a nigga to a tree. You know, this is before. It still will give you that reaction watching it now. Because it would be unexpected if you've never seen it before. You would think that shit would be all cheesy or whatnot. They Who hit what? you with some Jason type shit on the killing, Mike Myers shit on the killing. Like, oh, that's no, why I think the way. angle. That's why I think the angle was back then because a lot of people <laughs> probably wasn't aware this is a comic book. This is what DC University knows about, man. People just watching the ass. This is that crazy show with the guy turned to a plant. Let me see what's happening next. You ain't realize this is actually a comic book. You watch it right now, low key. Like Mark this nigga shit. knows Superman. <laughs> this nigga's on a level Superman in that world. Like they got him. <laughs> And on the band, he's always in the green. We're about to come out in the green. Because <laughs> that's like his thing, the green. Him and, the um, green. Him and Poison Ivy, that's like the world of plants. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the green. He, do it, he come out the ground. How he come out again? He come out the ground and shit, the whole shit. I grow this shit. And they say he can talk to any plant in the world with that shit. Yeah. So he can be in a room with a tree over there and come out and start growing limbs to chop you and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So... That sometimes happens. Nobody expected it. Wes Craven to make a good That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Horror, horror legend. The horror legendary Wes Craven. You know what I'm saying? So, have you checked out Death House yet? No, what is that? I think it's on Netflix still. I believe. Or Prime or something like that. It's on one of those apps. You probably can watch it on YouTube for free now. Fuck but, YouTube. Uh, huh. it was. It's a movie about... Like... Like known, like famous known serial killers that's like in a special facility, almost like that SCP Foundation shit, but with just you know what I'm saying niggas that's on death row and all that shit, and was about to get the death penalty all in one place together, you know what I'm saying to experience for experiments really, but fucking um, it's cameo and like all the old slashers. You know what I'm saying? You got the nigga who played fucking uh. You got Kane Hodder at the star, one of the stars of the movie. He I a prisoner. Think, uh, I think. I but think he playing I, somebody else. What's the name of the movie? Uh, Death House. That's my man from Candyman. Mm-hmm. I think I seen a trailer to it because he think, like he like one of the dudes. I think old girl that bring people there or something like that or like help. I think old girl catch from, the people uh, from uh, or trilogy. something like that. Trilogy of Terror is in it, I think. I want to yeah, see Yeah, and then you got uh, the clown dude from Rob Zombie movie, the fat old white man. The ice pick killer or whatever. Uh-uh. First of all. Well, you got... No, no, okay. no. You got his... The remember. four evils. No, you got to remember his name. That's uh, Sid Haik. Sid Sid, Sid hey. Sid hey. hey, yeah. I saw you say how he can look like a um, Arabic. Movie. That's it. Hell yeah, that's he's legend. Like people, he 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 inspired people. You know what I'm saying? Like people was people in the horror business that looked up to him. He was doing his thing for a while, not just in horror. Yeah. I'm looking at the cast now. Yeah, this is a uh, oh, it's a horror. We got okay, K. Hyder. That's Jason, ain't he? Yeah. Okay, Gunnar yeah. Hansen. That's Michael Myers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Le- Leatherface. Leatherface. Okay, he D-Y. died. He died though. Remember a few years back. D. Wallace from the Holland. Okay. Barbara mm-hmm. Crampton. What she looks from? Where I know her from? Oh, she was on that new, um, I'm trying to Jurassic see Jurassic Park shit and shit. Uh-uh, no. She was in something back in the day. <coughs> Look at she's 62. She was in something, I say. Hold on. Yeah, she probably was. Um, Reanimator. She was a reanimator. I can't remember that. The reanimator. Chopping my heart. I remember that. <coughs> okay, okay, baby. I see. I'm trying to see what else she was in. Because her puppet master. Oh, master. she was in that. Oh, she was in the first one too. This the one I was talking about. The little, the little is right. This one out cold, bro. They all good. I want to see. This. I forgot they it came out. That's I never, the best one. I okay. So let me see. they they marking niggas on that bitch. On this okay, so one, we got this, Barbara this, Craft, this. the Tony Todd. We know Michael Barrett, man. He plays so much. I can't even put my finger on one thing. Who is Bill Mosley? He looks familiar. 
Edge of Barbo. We you know who Mosley is? He one of, he one of them Rob Zombie niggas too. Okay. Yeah. He the tall guy? I think so. Okay, I'm trying to tell me he played. He played a Texas Chase, uh, he played a Halloween. So, um, nigga, one of the um puppets ran in one of the one of the bitches pussy while she was pregnant as fuck, sleeping. Okay, stop. This is I don't even hear no And burst through her stomach with the baby. I was like, oh shit. I'm like, this shit is savage. Was the baby still alive? Yeah. She was there and they're about to pop. This motherfucker mm-hmm. ran up in it. I did hear about that. him. That shit out cold. Okay, we got, I don't know who said, hey, get this. It's Felicity Rose. Yep, this is the movie I see the trailer to. Yep, I do want to see this. Because Felicity Rose, I follow her because she did a movie a long time ago called Sleepaway Camp that was so scary and freaky. That was her? Yeah, when she was younger, yeah. What? I follow her on Facebook, I mean, on Instagram. So she, I, I seen that shit when she was supposed to be like some, like a trainee or some shit. Yep, that's exactly what it was. That shit funny, is it? It scared the fuck out of me because I think that was possible as a kid. So I just, you see a little girl with this big ass dick. This, oh my god, what is? Like now I'm growing up, I'm grown. Think like, what kind of? How much that deal would cost them? Back then I was scared. I'm like, that's, <laughs> right. that's for real. How did they get that happen? Hey, no, that can't be a prosthetic. That's, <laughs> that's a lie. He doing it. So they showed it on there because I, I I seen like. I, yeah, that's like the was, only parts of the movie I never really see. Was, I always seen the kills and that shit. That was part of the. Um, I guess part of the splendor that will make that movie legendary is that, yeah, it showed because you found out what the, towards the end they put two and two together for you and you seen that what happened was it was something on the lines of her daddy was gay. He was caught in bed with a man. His mama came in and killed the man and him. I think she killed herself in front of him. And when he went to his auntie house after they all hit the fan and he was kind of traumatized in the days after seeing that shit, his auntie took him in. It was also awesome, like I always wanted a daughter. Whoa. And started raising him. At, I guess she brought her him to the house and started telling people he was a girl. But you didn't know that shit. But her cousin, the boy, was always treating him weird. So it's kind of like he knew. He was always fucking with him. You know, that's why, I mean, towards the beginning of the movie, you see it. You think, like, why is he bullying this little girl like this? But then you kind of realize that he know the whole time. Right. So that's why he fucked with this nigga. Because, ah, you got to wear a dress. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> his attitude, it was kind of weird like that. But at the end... She was supposed to be down there like fuck. She met up with some boy. They was all like 14, 15. About to right. fuck. And then before she could fuck him, she cut off his head. Cause she can't fuck him. She got a dick. And then when they come down there, she's standing there in her mouth. Nigga, she got a big mouth. Now she did every time she could piss, she opened her mouth. But she had a big ass mouth. Like, ah, had this crazy expression. Had a big ass knife in her head. And a dick that came to her ankles or something. It was crazy. Not ankles. I'm, re- I'm, re- I'm re- exaggerating. That was <laughs> nigga so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was into the angles like that. It was like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It was ridiculous though. And um had people while thinking I ain't shit like No, <laughs> right, you gotta say it's it's front and angle. then it's not front. Lot. It's <laughs> front and then it's not front. Like... <laughs> that's the shit that started racism. Walk around like that. <laughs> that's the shit that started racism. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the shower with that one time, you gonna not trust your wife to leave the house ever. Right. It's like niggas like that exist. You can't leave. <laughs> right. You can't go go for shopping. What do you need from the store? Niggas like that exists. I would get yep. I would get it for you. Like, bro, that's what I said. Like, if I move somewhere, like, like if I ever get rich or something. I went to school with the record McDonald's right now. <laughs> I the go to the like store and I see like one of the, like like a porn star I've seen, you know what I'm saying? Watching so many boots like bro. <laughs> I'm like, babe, we gotta go to the car. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, do that. They gonna see you. I wouldn't do that. They gonna be looking like a celebrity, so like, babe. a porn star. I wouldn't do that. You know, she fall for and she disappeared with him. Just let her go. She for the streets. <laughs> bitch for the streets. She for the streets. You can't even. You know what I'm saying? He's a lot. He's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I see my celebrity Christmas movie Thursday. Oh, it's our celebrity Christmas. Oh, man. Come back. Come back. <laughs>